Hello everyone, my name is Arlene with Design with Arlene and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have video tutorials of paper crafting and just sharing my love of working with stamps and paper. So I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of the new subscribers. I do appreciate it and um, we love to watch the the numbers go up and we say, oh, we have a new subscriber. So we're excited about that. And I hope you enjoy the tutorials. So let me show you the stamp set that I'm using. This is going, this is called the Beauty Abounds stamp set. It is on the retired list. So if you are um, on the fence about this one, just know that it is going to be retired at the end of, actually not the end of April, but we have a new catalog coming out May 4th. And this one, unfortunately, will not be on it. So let me show you the paper and the cardstock that I'm using for this card. I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is going to be the base. So I've um, cut it. This is a half a sheet of eight and a half by 11. It's the basic white. Um, and I just folded it and this is going to be the card base. And then I also have a piece of the terracotta tile, another dis, um, retired color that will no longer be carried over in the new catalog, as well as the some of the ornate garden collection, the designer series paper. And then I also have a piece of pear pizzazz too as well. So all the dimensions for this card will be on my blog. So they'll have it linked down below for you. In addition to that, I also have some pieces that are cut out using the dies. This is the nested um, stitched nested labels dies. And I also used the smallest oval in the stitched shapes dies. These, unfortunately, I'm going to miss the stitched shapes. These two dies are going to be um, retired, so they will not be carried over either. All right, let's go ahead and get our card ready to put together. Okay, so I'm using three different inks. I've got the Bumblebee, the um, Pear Pizzazz, and the Terracotta Tile. The Terracotta Tile is another um, one that will be retired in ink pad. It's one of the end colors that they will not carry because we're getting some fun new colors in. So, and I'm using the little kind of a bubble shape stamp from the Beauty Abounds stamp set. And I'm going to just ink that up in my Bumblebee first. And I like to stamp off a little bit here and then stamp on. So it just gives it a really light look. And I'm going to do that one more time with this bumblebee right here. So this got two stamps in the bumblebee color. And then moving on to the pear pizzazz, ink that up as well. And again, stamp off. I just want a really light look here on the, the part that I've um, cut out. Right there, and I think I'll do another one right here. Okay, and clean that off. And then move on to my terracotta tile. I'll move this over here so my arm's not in the way. And then stamp off and stamp on. Again, just taking off some of that ink so it gives it a lighter look to it. Maybe I'll fill that one up right here, one more at top. Okay, so we have that right there. Next, I'm going to take the Memento Black ink, and I have the longer stamp. This is a little floral one, and just ink that up and stamp that right in the middle. There we go. Now, with this small oval, I'm going to stamp the word thanks right in the middle there. And you want to want to try to get this as centered as you can. We'll be putting we'll be punching out something on the side here. So, got that nice and inked up. Okay, let's clear this up and put the cards together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just layer these things while we'll attach this with some glue. I'm going to layer the designer series paper onto the terracotta tile cardstock. And this is just a very small mat, like that, okay? And then I will do the same with this designer series paper. This will go up on the top of the pear pizzazz. Okay, now I'm taking the card base and I'll glue the larger piece of the cardstock. This is the terracotta, terracotta tile. 
as soon as I finally memorize the names of the colors, we get new colors in. So, but I'm looking forward to those. Those are really pretty colors, so as well. Okay, <clears throat> so we have the base of the card. Now, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and I'm going to glue this down. This is the, the part that we've die cut out and stamped. And I'll glue that to this center panel here. And I want that to be up a little bit. So I don't want to just center it right in the middle. It is centered um, left to right, but I want it to be a little higher. So we have some room here. We're going to attach the thanks. And so to do that, I'm going to use our detailed trio punch. And there are three of these in here, three little three punches. I'm using the one that looks like an oval. So just turn that around. This is just big enough where you can hold that with your hand and just want to center that in. You can see where it's going to be punching at. And I really just kind of hold it here. I know my camera will probably shake. <laughs> so warning, pop that out and it gives a little hole there. And I'm going to do the same on this other side. There we go. Now I've got some of the ornate, it's a duo of ribbon here. You've got the pear pizzazz color as well as the, um, the terracotta tile. And I'm going to take the pear pizzazz and the hole that we, that I've made here on this um, oval, I'm going to th just thread the ribbon. So from the, the top down the back, and then thread it back up through the back. Okay, so you've got it like a little, like a little type of a buckle type of thing that you've, where you've ran it through the ribbon. Um, and then just trim off some, trim off a piece here. You'll have extra, but we can trim that up later. Okay, and with some, a Stampin' Dimensional, I think I'm going to go ahead and pop that up. And just center it right here okay and then you see how I have extra so you just trim that off we're just going to either glue or you can tape it or use a glue dot on the back of the pear pizzazz here So my first choice is usually tape, but I don't see it. So I'll just go ahead and use just some glue dots I have here. Make sure it gets nice and straight. Okay, there we have it like that. And then all we do is attach to apply some glue. Just make sure I like to put glue on that ribbon as well. And then you have your card, nice and pretty. So left a blank, but you can always stamp something with it or write your own personal note in here. Um, again, that is made with the Beauty Abounds stamp set that is retiring at the end of, well, the beginning of May. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this card. And again, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for stopping by. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to see more, if you liked the content of this, please give me a thumbs up the video. Thank you so much. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.